Okay, what are we doing today? What we're doing today is uh, Survivor's Village and May Day as part of the Take Back the Land movement are putting up uh, or erecting a tent city to reclaim public land. Um, this is These are the first four tents. We don't know how big it's going to get. But we're setting this up outside of the former St. Bernard Project where there's still a lot of people who are displaced. Um, in fact, out of all of the housing developments, they had the fewest people come back. Um, and yesterday, um, after we went into the office, we were told by Hanno, that, uh, which is the Housing Authority of New Orleans, that people who were promised to come back to this housing development, which is now Columbia Park, were lied to, which goes against, um, you know, the, the convention on having, like, the, the right of return. Um, internally displaced people have the right to go back to where they were. Um, before any sort of like tragedy or whatever it is that made them internally displaced people. Um, and it goes against um, housing being a human right as well. So um, that's what St. Bernard is facing. So we're focusing on the St. Bernard area because of that. And um, this is sort of a piece that helps connect what's happening with public housing residents to just renters in general in the city. Uh, New Orleans was 70% renter before the storm. and. Uh, out of that, there are very few government programs were actually created to get renters back into the city, and so we've seen a great shift in the demographic. So you can see on the things it says at least one out of four people are still displaced, um, because that's the number that we're looking at. That at least, and we're not quite sure what, one out of four people that were here before the storm are not here, even though the population is back to pretty much what it was before the storm, not the same people. Um, and so housing being a human right, um, people having the right of return, this is, um, this is setting up a town city that is both a statement and practical because people can live in it. <laughs>